This is John Wick, kinda. Well, it's John Wick adjacent. If you like the action-packed franchise, you may have noticed a recurring trend in the movies, cars with missing doors. So I took that motif and decided to make this quick shot. Let's get to the thick of it. One concept. This was for the Endless Engines competition and the theme was vehicles. I started with this ugly mess of a concept, then threw it away. Oof. Then I was like, hey, I like John Wick, so I chose that. That's, that's why. <laughs> I planned this shot to be as if it were a part of John Wick 4. Spoiler alert. I saw that some scenes were shot in Osaka, Japan. I found a very nice 1973 Nissan Skyline Kenry, made it black. I searched some dark corners of the internet to find me a good Genu Weaves model. So then I took my Genu and cut off his finger for continuity. Sorry Mr. Weaves. Then I also removed the doors of the car. I chose a nice location in the city, placed the car on the wrong lane, so that I had fast passing cars and a convenient camera angle. I ended up with this other ugly mess, had some feedback from my Discord bros, and decided to go forward with it. 2. Environment. I found some more models for the environment and placed them around the scene to create a dark, semi-busy Osaka at night atmosphere. 3. Animation I fixed some jankiness and animated the hair to look alright. 4. Simulation Yeah, this one was just the suit. 5. Style I rendered an Eevee using a lot of shader to RGB nodes to make it look toony. I drew inspiration from 80s and 90s anime, and also the John Wick comics, but I wanted to create something more noir and new and blue. Took me a couple of weeks and a lot of noting to get this style right. 6. Da Vinci It's like how I imagine it. Like there is a little bit of like a uh, thing with Jesus built over this though. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There is no AI. I mean, if not, I would like to know the technique of how they would have done it. That would be fascinating. I threw everything in Da Vinci and used a watercolor fusion node. Love you guys. 7. Final thoughts. I could have probably dialed back on the watercolor effect and also animated the scene to be a little easier to read since there's a lot going on here. All of that said, this was a major lesson for me of time management, technique, and a lot of patience. For the first time in my 3D journey, I had zero anxiety about a scene. I knew what I wanted to do, how I was going to do it, how long it was going to take, and I just trusted the process. It was a lot of fun doing this. I made it to the top 100 and was happy enough with that. I was even happier to find out that the first place was Fabrizio, who is also from Brazil. That right there is a major win. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it explained the process. If you liked the scene, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Instagram and social URLs down there. Goodbye, and keep it sleazy.